I've made this mistake a whole bunch of times and you're going to see it quite often yourself. I want you to look at this query. You see, we've added depth no to our query and we have a lot of aggregation in there. You see, here's the problem. The aggregates say, we're going to come back in one row, but there's many different departments and you will get an error and it's going to say something like, not part of the associated group and you go, oh yeah, I remember now. Mixing aggregation with normal columns can't be done unless you use a group by statement. Let me show you how this is going to work. Anytime I have a normal column such as depno that doesn't have min, max, sum, sal, or count in it, you're going to have to group by that. So that's what I've done here. I've got my depno and at the bottom I say group by depno. I'm going to get one row per group or one row of aggregates per department number. I've got my depno, my aggregates, and my group by statement at the bottom, and I've also got an order by one in there, which is going to be depno, the first column. And as you can see, it's done all the aggregation for each department, including the nulls. Squiggy was in the nulls, Richard Smythe was in the tens, and then of course all the people in 100, 200, 300, 400. It will give me the average, the max, the min, everything I've asked for per group. Take a look at the SQL so we can be very clear. I want you to have a great education here. We've got a department number and we're grouping by department number. We're ordering by department number. But also look over here where we do the same thing, group by one, order by one, because depno is the first column coming back on the report. These are equivalent. You'll see sometimes the column name, sometimes the number. Anytime you have a group by or an order by statement, you can use the field, column, or the number. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Need to learn SQL for Natiza, Teradata, or Aster? Visit coughingdw.com for our helpful training guides. With Teratom, SQL stands for So Quickly Learned. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.